Alright guys, we are at SEMA Show 2021 and we are in, is this the uh, Tire Company Inc? Tireco Mildstar Tires. Tireco booth. And we are with my friend Marco of Overland X right here. So last, last time I've seen you was at 2019. 2019. SEMA, and, yeah. yeah. And then we had a blast at the Brownells. Absolutely, event, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. I so these guys. if you don't watch Overland X, you should. And we actually did your previous rig. This is a brand new rig. Yeah, we did the JK, which right. is a 2015. This is a JL. Right. But this is a 392. It's got a 6.4 liter Hemi. Oh, okay, very nice, very nice. So some actual power. Oh yeah. In here, very cool. So Marco's gonna give us the uh, full rundown of this. Make sure you check out Overland X if you want to just see like how awesome and amazing you can actually feed yourself. I can't do it, but I like looking at Marco's uh, videos about that, as well as you have a cookbook, right? Yes, or, I do. Yes. So we'll roll, we'll roll all that in. Give us the walkthrough here, Marco. Okay, so this is a 2021 JL392 okay. uh, Hemi engine, and uh, I just got this in June. I'm building it up. Mm -hmm. I got an ARB front bumper. It's Very like nice. The, the ARB uh, Bundy Deluxe. Okay. Um, got Casey highlights all around. Do you uh, have a tow hitch yet? Is that on the I don't have. I don't have a winch. A, a yet. winch. A winch. Uh, yeah. Sorry. A yeah. Winch will go there. Okay. Is this like a magnetic? Oh, for lifting light. Oh, I like that. Okay. It'll go in here. It'll go with it, yeah. Okay. You can hide it under the plate. Very nice. Yeah. I guess in California you gotta have. I go to Mexico a lot, and right. on my way back I need the I need the license. You need the front to have license. that plate. Okay. Cool. So. All right. As we're going around here, I'm on a, a CT3 TerraFlex suspension. Okay. Which is a four-inch lift. Mm -hmm. With the Falcon trucks, uh 3.3 adjustable trucks. Very uh, nice. Also from uh, TerraFlex, Terra which is a Falcon company. Uh -huh. uh, I'm running fuel off-road wheels. These are through beadlocks. Okay. This is the Warp model. Is this like 37s or? What These are, are 35s. 35s. Okay. Uh, which is the the new Milestar Patagonia XT. Okay. Uh, which is not as aggressive as the mud terrain, but it's a, it's a good tire. So what's the benefit of bead locks? You, like when you air down? You can air down. The, I air down to eight, 8 PSI. Oh, to 8? Okay. And I won't yeah. use the bead. Yeah, so that makes it a lot easier for you to go to go over whatever you and want more to. More traction. And you don't, this, the tires doesn't come off. Okay, very cool. Um, is this a aftermarket? No, that's, that's stock. This is how it came. Okay. That's, that's how it came. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, I did the bracket with the KC highlights of Pro okay. 6 up there. Nice. Um, I just did a, a wrap. Okay. It in, uh, so it was originally white. It's white. And it's just, it's just in the wrap. Okay, cool. Uh, up there, I got the James Beirut Explorer mm -hmm. uh, rooftop tent. This is really, really nice. This is one of the best rooftop tents I've ever seen. Okay, yeah. We'll have to, I don't know if we can anyhow get up there and yep. show folks, but we'll figure out a way. Very nice. So underneath, it's got a belly protection okay. made by the Next Venture. Oh, so it's, it's, it's all aluminum. There. Okay. Yeah. And you can see the plate back here where the exhaust. Yeah. Okay. Is. And then that goes all the way through. Yeah. We'll, we'll uh, roll some stuff. We'll get, we'll get down under there. Yeah, I like this uh, wrap that you did here. Yeah, they did a great job. Uh, yeah, looks nice. I like the colors. I'll all show you that. something neat. Uh, I deleted the seat. Oh, <laughs> the seat nice. Yeah. And because there's gonna be stuff there, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Manager 30 from Red Arc is the electrical. Oh, okay. No. So what is it? So what's here in the floor? Like, is the storage compartment? Oh, yeah. Oh, just go in here. Yeah, I got my jack. Oh, that's all in there. I got okay. tools. Nice. Some. Yeah. So that's what. Some extra. Some extra storage. Yeah. Yeah. And I got the electric system here, so. Okay. So just this one got deleted. Yep. And then yeah, everything you need back here, which we'll we'll cover what you have. Yeah, I'll show you batteries how it works. and everything. Okay. Cool. And then. Uh, <laughs> hey. Hey. Back. I got the uh, the Outback table. Okay. Oh, nice. Just uh, <laughs> pretty nice. That's table. cool. This is yeah. magnetic. So you put your. Your, uh, you know, your utensils. So here. does this door actually come like that? With no, this? no, no. This is the the table comes like this. This is the mounting. Okay, so this is how you mount it all. Goes up, magnetizes. Oh, cool. And then you could put knives and everything there it's while got you're a magnet. Okay. 
Cool. Um, this is the Red Arc controller. Oh, okay. It, it controls the lights, like the camping lights on the side. Got some. So do you just have one back here or you have one back here and up front? I have this one but it's Bluetooth. You can control it with your with your phone. Oh, okay. So right. if you're up front you can use you that. Can use and then when you come back here where you're probably using most of it. Right. When right. you're camped out. Okay. I got my camera batteries chargers here. Oh, okay, it's right a there. Drone battery charger. And I got a 2001 inverter. Okay. So, so what do you have, like a lithium battery? I here? got a 10 amp hour lithium battery. Right okay. Here. Uh, Where's the battery? Oh, who's the battery pack from? Uh, it's a live PO general oh, battery. Okay. And it's, it's back there and it's controlled by the Red Vision system. Okay. Cool. Uh, for storage, I got the Goods Gear uh, okay. system. Oh, nice. Which is the wood. Yeah, it's really That's nice. I, I, like, I like what these guys do. Yeah. And it's got this for the fridge, right. which is a 50 port ARB mm -hmm. classic. And that's cool. I don't have the key, but I got my camping gear here, my but sleeping there, bag. Yeah. And all. I see you've got a couple of uh, uh, that 22. Yes, bags. I love this bag. Yeah. Oh, which ones do you have there? I have the uh, Stingray Mini. Okay. And this is the large uh, Stingray flat box. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah. yeah, we saw those guys at Overland Expo East. Yeah. They, they do a great job. Yeah, it's, it's, that's a good stuff. It's real quality. Cool. And so then, so you've got a trailer here. I still have so, the Patriot. Yeah. So now explain what's going on here with this whole setup here. What do we? This this is made by Hitchmaster. Hitchmaster. So this goes 360 degrees. Okay. So in case I roll the trailer, mm -hmm. it doesn't affect my Jeep. Oh, okay. Just. And it can flex. It won't. Like, yeah, it won't uh, yeah, tear it up. Unlimited. It'll go. Yeah. 360. Oh, cool. So this is uh, from uh, a Hitchmaster. I still have the, the Patriot. This is mm -hmm. a trailer made in Australia. Okay. I don't think I ever saw this before. I think it was not here. It wasn't here. Okay. Actually, I got it right before seeing her. Oh, okay. All right. So, what's your thought behind this? I know there's a lot of different options. What's your thought? You know, when you when it comes to trailers, I notice you got like the bat wing going yeah. around and all that. How do you, how how does that work in your mind? What are you looking for? For me that I cook, uh -huh. the trailer it only makes sense because it's my rolling kitchen. I got okay. I take all that away from the jeep. Yeah. And I put it in, and in I put here. it here. Okay. Um, on this trailer, I have this. You gonna you gonna appreciate that. This. I see you got your Max Tracks mounted back here. Oh. oh. I got a. Is that a water system? That's a uh, water filtration system right but it's a 12 volt pump oh. and you just put a hose in a river a creek oh. or a lake and you just pull the force and it's filter water yeah because yeah. i got so, a, a 22 gallon uh, tank in this, in this oh okay so you would just take a hose out of this and drop it in whatever the water source is, is. It's just a uh, carbon filter. Oh, and filters, yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's cool. So how does the water? I'm you sorry. have limits what you can stick it into. But right. Yeah. Yeah. You can't put it in mud or. Right. right. River, right. River, river. Clean water. Yeah. 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 Relatively clean water. Yeah. yeah. Something that you look at it and you say, yeah, I'll drink from that. That looks good. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get that extra security of going through there. Right. If I right. run out of water, I, I use a lot of water because of the cooking. Yeah. I wash a lot. Yeah, so. you're washing the dishes so. and all that. And I try to do all the water that I have on the trailer. It's, it's potable water. I can drink. Right. I can drink from it. So yeah, way but I this way you don't have to like weigh everything down carrying a lot right. of water with you. Right. Just what you need. Very cool. 12 volt. It's a 12 volt. Yeah, that's always good. What is this little pocket for here? Um, oh, that's just... You can have an extra propane tank. Oh, okay, or, attached here. Or, okay. Or a uh, uh, jerry can. Okay, what's in this? This is a Rome box, and I use it just for my shoes, my oh. dirty clothes, or stick it in here. Just stick it up. Oh, cool. Awesome. What is this, uh, James Baru? James Baru, this is a, um, they manufacture rooftop tents and awnings. Okay. Uh, they're in Portugal. Oh. And it's a very high quality uh, brand. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, this, so this is this is a Patriot X2. It's a Patriot Campers X2. It's made okay. in Australia. Okay. Uh, 
torsion bar suspension. I mean, yeah. It's independent suspension. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oil. Oil. Yeah, I like how you have a similar. It's the same rim. It's the same rim, but it's not a beadlock. It's not beadlock. Okay. That's on the trailer, you know. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right okay. Yeah. 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 And then you have a similar wrap going on here. Yeah. Very nice. So here comes the good stuff. This is this is just the storage. Right. Uh, but this is this is pretty cool. I think it's a great idea that they came up with this. Okay, Fieldcraft Survival. Let me help you with this. So the Fieldcraft Survival okay. bag. Uh, what I That's got in here. Nice bag. Yeah, it's very nice. What I got in here, it's a... Uh, it's an oh, AC portable unit. portable AC. It's a portable Oh, AC. zero breeze. Zero okay. breeze, yeah. Do you like this? I love it. They, wor I love they work it. really good? It works good. I wish okay. the battery will last longer. Okay. But it, it'll keep the ten, at least 10 degrees uh, cooler. Cooler, really? So, oh, very nice. Yeah, I've seen the zero breeze, but yeah, I've never yeah. talked to anyone that uses it. So you use this a lot? Uh, yeah, I was in Arizona last week. Uh huh. And uh, yeah, it okay. works really, really good. So this particular, which one is this? This is the zero breeze. Two, I believe. Zero Breeze Two. Okay, here we can show you guys a little bit. Uh, and that didn't come in this bag. This no. is just the bag that you guys use. Let me, let me Let's see if we can get it out. Let me get this thing yeah. out first. Oh, okay. So this is all your duct work. Yeah, the exhaust for the hot air. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. All right. Yeah. So, and I can. So I've seen guys using this in tractor trailers, in yeah. pickup trucks, and all that kind of stuff. I think there's something you can put it in the window, like if in, depending on the vehicle you're in. Right, it, okay. it's got an exhaust mm -hmm. uh, for hot air, mm -hmm. and it's got a hose for condensation. Mm -hmm. So you just put it outside your window. Mm -hmm. But it's here. Oh, it's not connected. Yeah, I can connect it. Yeah, I was looking. I was looking at these because I was trying to think. I, I have an AC and everything in the van, but I was trying to think of something I could put. When I do my podcast, I do it in the van, but the AC is too loud. Right? Yeah. yeah. So I was looking no. at stuff that will be quieter. Keep is this pretty room. loud? No, I'll show you. Okay. All I need to do is connect a little hole, a little plug. Okay. Well, it's not that heavy. No. So this is showing you uh, the temperature that it's blowing out. It's okay. not the temperature. Oh. So that's set to 68. That's pulling, yeah, that's blowing 60, at 68 degrees. Yeah, feel it, yeah. Feel it. So where's your ductwork? I saw a ductwork. Yeah, you put it back here. That's uh, fresh air or that's, that's hot, hot air. That's the hot that's air. Exhaust. This is, yeah, that's the hot air. So this would be inside when you go up there. Yep. And blow your hot air. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got a little yeah. And we're in a big space and everything. Yeah. So, so in, in there, it'll keep it really, yeah, really cool. So it's really yeah. nice. In a nicely well insulated tent like you have there. Well, yeah. Even if you're not tremendously insulated, yeah. just that difference, that 10 degrees yeah. difference. Yeah. Oh, that'll, that'll yeah. help you sleep. So it, instead it, of being 80 at night, if it's 70, that's a whole nother world. Yeah. yeah. Or even like when I'm doing the podcast, all I need is for it to go down a couple of degrees. You know, and it's not like, loud. Yeah, and yeah, it's not a loud thing. So power-wise, is it just the battery, or can you plug it in? You can plug it into the, your AC. Okay. Uh, you can get an extra battery uh -huh. and double the. How long does the battery last? I'll say that around two, three hours. Two, oh, okay. at full blast. Yeah. So which is not That's bad. cool. That's about what I need for the yep. podcast. That's awesome. I'm glad I got to see these. And I can't remember exactly what these cost, but they're not super expensive, right? Uh, they're like eighteen hundred bucks. Eighteen like hundred. So okay. It's not. It's not. It's a good chunk for of money. It is, but yeah. For, yeah. But right That's now, pretty, it's, I mean, it's blowing. It's blowing yeah, like yeah, too yeah, much for me. Yeah. To do, run all night, you'd have to plug it into another battery or, or yeah. something. If or you're in a tent, AC or AC, yeah. yeah. Or your, your generator. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. 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 You run genset. Yeah. 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 I wonder how that would draw off of the uh, yeah, that's awesome. I'm glad I got to see one of these because I never really like saw. I saw it in videos, but I didn't really see it. People, a lot of people use it. The ice, yeah. I, I, I look at other, but I think this is the best design so mm -hmm. far. Mm -hmm. um, again, I wish the battery would last longer, but yeah, it works. Yeah, Walter's got it on 50. 50 degrees. I don't what, got anything. What was your question for Marco? Oh, about a, having a regular gas generator. Yeah, do you have a generator, no, I Marco? Do, I do not. You don't? I do not. I okay, have what's the philosophy bar. behind that? Uh, I guess I haven't, you know, I, 
don't have the necessity right now. You don't right feel now. the need for it. You're not running a lot of electronics no, and stuff when you're and out. and most of the lights that I use for camping are LEDs. Right. So the okay. draw is minimum. How long do you usually stay out when you go out? The most that we've done is 14 days. 14, okay. Um, so two weeks. But our regular, our regular trips are... No, a couple days, two, three days. Yeah. Like right. So with a hundred amp hour on the lipo, like lipo four or something yeah. batteries you have, you can just recharge it from your from when you're from driving. Solar or when I'm driving. Solar yes, or it has solar too. It's yeah. a solar panel from Red Arc. It's up here. Okay. Well, it's, so it's a two hundred amp. Okay. All right, Marco. So let's keep working our way around here. I noticed you have this very nice electric. Uh, looks like a dirt dirt bike. Yeah. But this what are we is looking made, at? This is made by Zuron. 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 Okay. This is the Zuron X. Okay. Um, it's 110 pounds mm -hmm. weight, so it's not that heavy. Mm -hmm. And as you said, it looks like a dirt bike. Yeah, and it, it does. It rides like a dirt bike. Uh, yeah. It's an electric bike that goes 50 miles an hour. Cool. Uh, it's pretty fun. Yeah. It, it uses mountain bike components like right. the fork and the suspension is yeah. a mountain bike and there are a lot of accessories that you can you can get to uh, make the things better yeah so you can just build this out how, however you want to so how big is the battery how long can it um, can it run uh, they say it'll give you it's a brand new unit so mm -hmm. they say it can give you 41 miles 41 miles. okay yeah. enough for you to zip around like yep. get around places okay. very cool I like the suspension back here <laughs> It's all adjustable. Yeah, yeah, very nice. I know Walter does a lot of dirt bike, mini bike stuff. You got some questions or comments here? No, I'm, I'm slowly warming up to the electric thing. You are? Okay. <laughs> I like the spokes on well, this. Well, it, it's evolving. Yeah. The whole, I mean, they first came out there a little, it looked like a bicycle with a with electric motor on right. it. Right. Yeah. If, if you think about it, because I come from a dirt bike mm -hmm. family too. Yeah. I, I used to ride since I was 13. Yeah. Uh, my last bike was a uh, Nexar 650. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So that was a big bike. Right. But, yeah. you know, the thread lightly, mm -hmm. you know, take care of the... The, the planet the, thing? The, yeah. The, the, well, listen, I think electric is a great application for bikes. I mean, I, I we've got a Tesla. So right. I'm not, I'm, I, I've got no problems and with electric quiet. stuff. Yeah, it's quiet, you know, you don't have to get fuel, you could charge it up. You could probably plug this into your stuff that you My have inverter. with you. Yep. Yeah, and keep it charged. So I think it's really convenient for that reason. You know, I mean, I don't think we're getting rid of combustion stuff or anything like that. It could be around for a while. The quiet part has its advantage of when you're trying to, not just nature, but just move without people knowing you're moving. There yeah. you go. Yeah, you know, you can roll through. The, you can roll out of your campsite. And nobody knows you're going. Yeah. Yeah. Versus and, bah, bah. <laughs> yeah. and you could take this with you and park up everything and, and drop this down yourself. How do you take this down? Is it? I know it's 100. You just lift it down. Just lift it down. 110 pounds. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you so, could have a you could have a ramp or something if you had to. If you, yeah. This this rack uh, comes with a with a ramp, but it's just extra weight, and I, I, yeah. I really don't need it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Marco's a tough guy, you know. He stays, he stays fit. Well, it's 10 pounds. Name is Marco. I mean, you can take it down. You <laughs> grab the bike by the horns and put it down, Walton. <laughs> yeah, 110 is not that bad. It's not that bad. So you, you, I know you just got it, but you're enjoying it. Yes. Right. Okay. Very cool. All right, we're gonna keep going around here. Back here, I have another fridge. Oh, you just, have okay. Because you know I cook. Yes, I know. So you got to bring those I awesome got, ingredients with you. <laughs> I got a big 73 quart uh, ARB zero uh, fridge, okay. which is a dual zone. So oh, wow. one side is a freezer, the other side is a fridge. Oh, like okay. Fridge. So that's really big in there, right? That's yes. Big, okay. It's nice. Okay. And then what are we? What's this we're looking at here? This is another awning. Oh, okay. It's a it's a 270. It goes around. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, at least for the for the trailer. So. Okay. So, very cool. And then I know we've got some nice surprises back here. I got this is my rolling kitchen here. So, so these are the, all the things you use when you're cooking. So give us the rundown here of what Marco uses. Camping stove. Primus. Uh, okay. I, I, I used the. So um, does this? Uh, is it? Yeah. There we go. Oh, there you go. So what does that work off of? Uh, propane. Propane. Okay. Yeah, I got a seven point five gallon propane. Well used. Well used. Well uh, used. Eat, eat. The man actually cooks. I use my my yeah. stuff, and I use the scuttle. A lot. Okay. You, you've seen yeah, that. I've seen that. Yeah. yeah. I got the okay. scuttle back here. I use that. Mm -hmm. That's the. That's your big my cooking utensil. Yeah. Okay. And this is just uh, it's got a radio here. Uh, yeah, you can rock out. Uh, is this cleanup stuff? Right okay, what's in? Uh, is this a drawer this is here? A drawer. I got a ninja. 
for my salsas. Okay, you got some coffee back here. How do you make your coffee on the road? What do you do for coffee-wise? Ah, uh -huh. okay. Yeah. Okay, nice. And I put it on the stove. Okay. This coffee is really good. Really, New Mexico really good. Uh, pinion, pinion coffee. Okay, pinion. Pinion. Okay, very nice. So, this and is then, my new thing. Right. It's a 12 ball oven. Yeah, from Road Chef. From Road Chef. That's cool, man. That's not. That's yeah. that's relatively small yeah. and feels lightweight in here. Slide, and you got two levels. Yeah, and you can remove them. Yeah, 12 volt. Yeah. So what do you what do you cook in here? Uh, brisket. Brisket. Oh, okay. Uh, for uh, Expo, uh, it was early in the morning, and I was preparing lunch uh -huh. because it'll take like five hours to make yeah. a brisket, right? Right. But the fun thing is that you you're cooking while you're driving. Oh. So you put your brisket so in there, you're smelling and, just it. It out, and just drive it. That's by the, cool. By yeah. the time you get to camp, it's good. Dinner is ready. So is there a tray in the bottom of that, or uh, I use that regular aluminum tray. Put it in there. Okay. And, oh, nice. and oven bags. Okay. Because everything's moving in there, so. So a couple of things. Uh, what does do you know? What does that cost on average? Like two hundred eighty bucks. Two eighty. Like okay, that. twelve volt. That's pretty cool. About how long did it take you to cook a brisket in there? It takes like four to five hours. Four to five hours, yeah. okay. Because it only goes to 220. 220, so okay. It's not that hot. No, that's cool. I like the idea of that, right? If you, you know, for something, it doesn't take up that much space. So, what's going on here? The trailer has uh, its own red arc system. Okay, is, this uh, is what you're talking this about. Is a manager right 30. Okay. Uh, so, it controls the water pump, the fridge, my lights. Uh, and this is the controller right here. Um, the way I'm using the energy right now, it's I, I'm at 69%, and it's it'll give me three days. Three days until so, flat. Okay, so. that's cool. Gives me all the information here. Yeah. I can plug it to the wall and recharge the battery. Right. On the trailer, I have an AGM battery. Okay. So lithium will be better. This, yeah. This trailer, so. Okay. Oh, so this has a AGM, but this has a lithium. lithium. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, and then is this like a monitor for the freezer, for uh, the fridge? This is uh, for the fridge uh -huh. and the water level. Water oh, okay. Level is low, but it's okay, cool. And then you've got a propane tank on this side. Tank. Okay, very nice. Uh, I like the setup, man. Thank you very much. Man. You know, um, I know that we don't have a ladder or anything to go up there, but we'll try to we'll try to get you guys. I don't know if Marco's actually sleeping up there right now. No. No. <laughs> He's staying in a nice hotel here in Vegas, I'm sure. Thanks a lot, man, for that. Thank you very much. So for the folks who are watching this, if they want to find out more stuff or, you know, see how you do things better, where do they go? Uh, go to my Instagram account. It's OVRLNDX. Mm -hmm. And or my YouTube channel where I share my recipes. Mm -hmm. And also Facebook and www.ovrlndx.com. Right, and get the uh, cookbook. And you can get my cookbook there. Absolutely. Thanks, Marco. Good seeing Thank you, man. Thank you very much, Ryan. All right, guys. We're out. Peace.